Welcome to Cute Fast Track Series for API 510 Pressure Vessel Inspection Code. In service inspection, rating, repair, and alteration. In this lecture, we will continue discuss to sub clauses 8.1 repairs and alterations. And in addition, we will discuss sub clauses 8.2 rerating and highlight important information contained sub clauses 8.1 and 8.2. NDE of welds Prior to welding, the area prepared for welding, especially after removing cracks and other defects, is examined using either the MT or PT technique to determine that no defects exist. After the weld is completed, it shall be examined again by the appropriate NDE technique specified in the repair specification to determine that no defects exist using acceptance standards acceptable to the inspector or the applicable construction code. New welds. As part of a repair or alteration in a pressure vessel that were originally required to be radiographed, for example circumferential and longitudinal welds, by the construction code, shall be radiographically examined in accordance with the construction code. UT in lieu of RT shall follow ASME code case 2235 or ASME code section 8 division 2 7.5.5 where use of NDE techniques specified by the construction code is not possible or practical. Alternative NDE techniques may be used provided they are approved by the engineer and inspector. Acceptance criteria for welded repairs or alterations should be in accordance with the applicable sections of the ASME code or another applicable vessel rating code. Weld inspection for vessels subject to brittle fracture For vessels constructed of materials that may be subject to brittle fracture from either normal or abnormal service, including startup, shutdown, and pressure testing, appropriate inspection should be considered after welded repairs or alterations. Flaws, notches or other stress risers could initiate a brittle fracture in subsequent pressure testing or service. MT and other effective surface NDE methods should be considered. Inspection techniques should be selected to detect critical flaws as determined by a FFS assessment. Rerating Rerating a pressure vessel by changing its design temperature. Minimum metal design temperature, or its MAWP may be done only after all of the following requirements have been met. Calculations performed by either the manufacturer or an owner-user engineer experienced in pressure vessel design fabrication, or inspection shall justify rerating. A rerating shall be performed in accordance with the requirements of the vessel's construction code. Alternately, calculations can be made using the appropriate formulas in the latest edition of the applicable construction code provided all of the vessel's essential details comply with the applicable requirements of the ASME code.
If the vessel was designed to an addition or addendum of the ASME code earlier than the 1999 addendum, and was not designed to ASME code case 2290, or ASME code case 2278, it may be re-rated to the latest addition addendum of the ASME code, if permitted by figures shown in next slide. Notice that for vessels built to a code earlier than 1968 the original design allowable stress, based on design factor of 4.0 or 5.0, shall be used. So re-rating a pressure vessel not possible. Pressure vessels was vessel built to 1968 or later edition of ASME code it may be re-rated to the latest edition, addendum of the ASME code if permitted by this figure. You have to follow and check step by step as illustrated on the figure, to ensure that vessel or components, can or cannot be re-rated, using the latest edition addendum of the ASME code allowable stress. Current inspection records verify that the pressure vessel is satisfactory for the proposed service conditions, and that the corrosion allowance provided is appropriate. An increase in allowable working pressure, or design temperature shall be based on thickness data obtained from a recent internal or on-stream inspection. The vessel shall be pressure tested, using the applicable testing formula from the code used to perform the re-rating calculations. The re-rating is acceptable to the engineer. The pressure vessel re-rating will be considered complete, with the attachment of an additional nameplate, or additional stamping that carries the information in below figure. Review questions Question number 1 Prior to removing a crack in a pressure vessel, by repair welding, what inspection technique is usually performed to examine the area prepared for welding to determine that no defects exist? Answer is D. Question number two. When RT is not possible or practical, alternative NDE techniques may be used provided they are approved by. Answer is D. Question number three. Acceptance criteria for welded repairs should include NDE techniques that are in accordance with which of the following. Answer is D. Question 
Question number four. How should inspection techniques be selected to detect critical flaws in vessels constructed of materials that may be subject to brittle fracture? Answer is A. Question number 5. Rerating nameplate is rerating a pressure vessel by. Answer is D. Question number 6. Calculations by the original manufacturer or an engineer shall be completed before. Answer is B. Question number 7. Re-rating calculations shall be performed by the manufacturer or which of the following? Answer is A. Question number 8. A pressure vessel constructed of saw 285 grade C material to the 1965 edition of the ASME Code, Section 8, Division 1, has been in storage for several years. It is proposed to increase the design by temperature from 500 degrees Fahrenheit to 650 degrees Fahrenheit, using the current edition of ASME Code, Section 8, Division 1. The inspector should. Answer is A. Question number 9. A vessel built to the 1977 edition of the ASME Section 8, Division 1 code is to be re-rated, but the vessel shell material is not listed in the current edition of the ASME code, Section 2. May the vessel be re-rated using the current ASME code allowable stress. Answer is B. Question number 10. A vessel nameplate indicates the MAWP to be 250 psi at 650 degrees Fahrenheit. The current operating temperature is 600 degrees Fahrenheit and the owner intends to increase the operating temperature by 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Which of the following is the first step in increasing the operating temperature? Answer is C. Q. 
Question number 11. The rate of metal loss caused by corrosion or erosion can typically be determined by Answer is C. Question number 12. Pressure tests must be performed on pressure vessels that have been in service when Answer is D. Question number 13. When is re-rating of a pressure vessel considered complete? Answer is A. This lecture is prepared by Samir Saad, and this is his profile. 